Hey there! I'm going to show you how to get these soft kissable lips for spring and summer. It's really easy. You only need three products, possibly four. It depends. You'll see why after. So you'll need a lip scrub or you can make your own. So I'm showing you how I make my own. You'll need a lip balm and you'll need a lip stain. And the fourth possible product is a lip liner. It's just for me. I have lips that don't really have a lot of definition. So I just apply a soft liner to them to give it a little bit more definition. But it really depends on you. Most people probably won't need that. Uh, so continue watching if you want to see how I make my DIY lip exfoliant scrub. If not, you can buy, um, Fresh has a really good lip exfoliant, Lush has lip exfoliant, so many places make really good lip exfoliants. Um, if you wanted to pick one up or if you already have one on hand, but if you don't, you can use the recipe that I'm about to show you. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy these soft kissable lips. Stay tuned to see how I accomplish them. So this is everything that I'm going to be using to make the lip scrub. It's really not that complicated. I'm going to be using some sugar, which comes from sugar cane, which is actually a natural AHA, so alpha hydroxic acid. Um, it's like glycolic acid. So this is really like a natural um, chemical exfoliant as well as physical. Lemon also has AHA in it, so it's definitely going to help to slow away any of the dead skin on your lips. I'm using olive oil for its moisturizing properties and honey as well as for its moisturizing properties because it's a natural humectant so it's going to attract moisture. Then I'm just going to be taking a small little bowl of sorts and a spoon to mix it with. I'm going to be making enough for more than one usage so I'm going to take about three teaspoons ish <laughs> and then I'm going to do a few drops of lemon. I'm just using the kind that's pre-squeezed. Two teaspoons of honey and about one teaspoon of olive oil. So that's the perfect consistency for me. I don't want it to be too gritty because I have sensitive everything. I have sensitive lips. Um, if you want it a little bit more gritty, you can just go ahead and add a little bit more sugar. First things first, you're going to want to exfoliate your lips. So ideally, you're going to want to do this in front of a sink. But for filming purposes, I'm going to do it right here. Um, so this is the scrub that we just made. It is looking a little greenish yellow and it has to do with the olive oil. Um, you could add any sort of oil that you want really. It just has to do with the moisturizing properties that the oil has. So I'm just going to take a little Kleenex so that we don't drop sugar everywhere. I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and I'm going to scrub my lips with that. And because I'm doing this with my makeup already on, I'm going to be careful. But if you're doing this while washing your face, which is sort of the ideal way to do it. I would scrub your lips before washing your face. Uh, you can do the contour as well because I know the contour of my lips get really dry. So I'm just going to apply some of this and massage it. So now you just want to remove it with a Kleenex a damp Kleenex or a washcloth or just take water and go like this. Um, or you could lick it off because I mean everything you're putting in here is edible. It just doesn't taste the best. It's like a sickly sweet and because of the lemon in there it's a little bit. So now my lips are exfoliated and they're going to feel a little bit plumper because you're, the friction of it is plumping up your lips by bringing all like the blood to your lips. Uh, and they're going to feel possibly a little bit tight because we were like aggravating them. So right away you're going to want to apply just a little bit of lip balm, not too much. So I'm using the Rosebud Solve, which is like my favorite. I have almost no more left. It's all in the corner right there. I picked mine up at American Apparel, but you can get this at Sephora. There's quite a few places that you could pick this up. The next step isn't obligatory. It really depends on you. My lips... Um, I don't really have a very defined line on my upper lip, so I want to make it look a little bit more defined. So I'm going to take a lip liner, and I'm using the Lee's Wood Sea Soft Pink Lip Liner. Um, anything that is fairly similar to your lip shade, and you're going to want to, well, I'm going to want to, just define right there the little cupid's bow a little bit. I don't want to press too hard because I don't want it to be too obvious that I'm lining my lips. And then I'm taking my finger and I'm kind of smudging out the lines a little bit because I don't want it to be too harsh. And I'll do a little right there. 
So yeah, that stuff definitely like depends on you. Next is my favorite part. I'm going to be using Benetint from Benefit. Any sort of stain will do. I wouldn't recommend the um, like the Revlon Balm stains because those, like the whole point of this is to get soft kissable lips. So we don't want the color transferring. So you really want an actual stain on your lips. So I'm going to be using this and I'm just going to be taking it and applying it with a little brush that looks like a nail polish brush onto my lips and dabbing it in. And this is going to give us such a nice color, like a just kissed sort of like look on our lips. Okay, so now my lip stain is applied and it looks very natural even though it's a dark color because there's no layer of gloss, there's nothing that's really showing that I have any lip product on. So the final step is to make sure that you moisturize this. Moisturize? <laughs> so I'm going to be taking my balm again, the Rosebud Salt, and just applying it on top. You don't want to use anything sticky because if you're going to be kissing anybody, boys don't like it when your lip gloss is sticky. So these are the lips with the balm and the lip stain and they're all scrubbed and exfoliated and yummy looking. So go ahead and I can be responsible for the amount of boys that are going to want to kiss you when you wear these lips. Just saying. Oh, I'm kidding. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Manini3 on both of those social media sites. And uh, yeah, did I already say thumbs up? Because thumbs up this video if you liked it. Bye.